Hello guys, welcome back to Yamstein Sport. In today's uh, preview and highlight, we are looking at Morocco women versus Colombia women. And later on, we give you reasons why we think uh, both teams can make it despite the prediction timeline in favor of one thing against another. On Thursday, Morocco women and Colombia women will go head to head in the final round of group of 16 as the group games at the women's world cup 2023 stands at this level we all call it journey to the round of 16 or journey to the knockout stage as it stands colombia are sitting at the top of group h with six points to their name while morocco are three points adrift in third position morocco who are competing in their first ever women's world cup were left reeling after being tomped six goals to zero by Germany in their final uh, opening game of the tournament. As we see, after getting up uh, to a disastrous start, the Lionesses of Atlas showed great character to claim all three points in Sunday's meeting with South Korea. It is made sound. A jersey gave her country the lead in the sixth uh, minute and Morocco managed to keep South Korea at bay for the remainder of the contest to claim their first victory at the Women's World Cup, despite being the second lowest ranked side at the tournament. Morocco head into the final round of group games with a chance of progressing to the last of 16. Due to Germany's superior goal differences, the 2022 African Cup of Nations finalists we need to better Germany's result to secure a place in the knockout round. Despite kicking off the tournament with a 2 goals to 0 victory over South Korea, Colombia entered Sunday's fixture against Germany as massive underdogs. However, Colombia showcased the quality that the process to take the lead in the 52-minute through Linda Caicedo who created the space to produce an unstoppable strike into the top corner. Their hopes of claiming a surprise victory look to have dissipated when Catalina Perez brought down Lina Obedov in the box, allowing Alex Pope to restore parity from the penalty spot. There was to be one final moment of drama Though, as real societies, uh, Manuela Venegas headed home a 97 minute winner to secure a historic victory and send her country to the top of Group H. Colombia have all but qualified for the last 16 due to their significant goal difference advantage over Morocco, and they will finish top of Group G if they avoid defeat in this encounter. Team News stands on the other end as after claiming a hard end victory match day two, Morocco boss Reina Pedros could be tempted to name an unchanged lineup. Nohelia Benzina is set to start in central defense alongside Nesrine El Chad, while Hanane Elt in Haji and Zeneb Redoumi we continue to operate as the two fall back. Boeing from scoring the winner against South Korea, Dredi will offer one of Morocco's main goal traits when she leads the line against Colombia. As for Colombia, central defender Jerulin Karabali is a doubt after being stretched off in stoppage time of Sunday's win. In Carabales unable to feature, then we see Nelson Abadia could bring Monica Ramos into the side to partner Daniela Arias in central defense, if and only if Carabali is unable to feature. So, uh, Lacey Santos dropped down to the bench against Germany, but the Atletico Madrid midfielder could return to the starting lineup and this encounter 
we have long predicted this game in our previous video that is a game in hands of Colombia to win with uh, two goals to one margin against uh, Morocco after losing six goals to zero to Germany in their opening game Morocco will have restored some confidence with their narrow win over South Korea while they will have aspirations of claiming consecutive victories we think that the lionesses of atlas will be urged out by a colombian side that are looking to pinch top spot in group h despite the fact that we have uh, been predicting and some teams have been proving us wrong that is uh, the type of uh, challenges and we like to see when a team prove us wrong by turning the table around against the favorite team statistically so statistically we see colombia but in the match morocco can still change the fact that we have predicted a colombia win against them and that is what we always like to see here let's see why colombia will win or why you should back colombia colombia are playing in their first women's world cup since 2015 at least that is one of the reasons why we think colombia will stand a chance to maintain their composure and play in high spirit to win this match because it is their first women's world cup since 2015 they have been playing superb football thus far winning their first two games they are leading group h after losing a two goals to one win over Germany on July 30. Despite only having 32% of possession, this group produced plenty of offensive opportunities. So Colombia had nine total shots with four shots on target. In addition, they had six corner kicks. Forward Linda Caicedo excels at creating offensive chances due to her quickness and powerful shot. Caicedo is first on the team in goals second through two matches at the 2023 women's world cup in the win over germany the 18 year old amazed one gold on the one shot that is how we see why you should back colombia now let's see why we think you should also back morocco if they happen to turn down the table in their favor Morocco are playing in their first ever women's World Cup as it will be a very enthusiastic and encouraging thing for them to appear the first time in the women's World Cup and move out of the group stage to proceed to the knockout round. That is the first reason why we think they will play in high spirit as well. After dropping the first match 6 goals to 0 to Germany, Morocco bounced back with a much better performance on July 30th against South Korea. Morocco pulled off the 1 goal to 0 uh, upset win. That victory helped them hit into the Thursday to with outstanding confidence. Now, forward uh, Ibisam Jardi owns good awareness and athleticism on the field. Jardi is fresh off scoring the first ever women's World Cup goal for Morocco. The 30 year old scored a header in the sixth minute versus South Korea. Midfielder Hanane Elt did a great job setting up. Jadi for the score with a pure precise cross. At El Hajj has also recorded three shots through two games, showcasing her willingness to the stage of being aggressive here. That is how we see it, guys. Let us know your own points of views as we move on to the game. Thank you.